Yes guys, welcome to another episode of Kate's World. My name is Kay, it's Sunday morning. We've just hit 1K subs. <laughs> so thank you to everybody that's been subscribing. Big up to everyone that's been showing me loads of love. You're the best. Wow. <laughs> it feels good to hit 1K. I didn't actually think I'd hit it in this short period of time. On the day that Supreme finally emailed me and my pending transaction went from pending to refunded. <laughs> No dunks for K. My order was cancelled. I mean, the whole journey up until this point has been a roller coaster of emotions. Uh, I was pretty gutted, but we move on. You know, there's not much I can do about it. Moving on, you guys can see I'm rocking the Sepultura 100s hoodie today. <laughs> You would have seen in the intro to this, me unboxing all the little goodies that were sent to me by the good people of Out of Step. So big up Linda's, Emma, Adam, all you guys are Out of Step and hundreds. You guys are rad. Thank you. This is a little bit of a throwback to my old college days. Um, I haven't actually listened to Simple Chair for years, so it got me on this massive journey going back through their discography. So thank you again, guys. I haven't actually taken this hoodie off all week. I've been rocking it today with my orange box dunks. Again, just a nice, normal, easy to cop shoe at the time, celebrating the orange box series of the dunks. I don't own the Syracuse dunk, so this is quite a nice little take on that. Hits the same color palette, jams with a hoodie. So this is what I rocked on my weekly Asda run today. My fit pick this week was revolved around the Sepultura 100s collaboration. <laughs> So I thought I'd pull out a pair of kicks that were dark but wild enough to jam with this hoodie. So this week I've reached for the 2005 Hawaii Dunk Lows. Okay, so the first thing you see is loads of mad clashing colours and sick uses of material. But what's sick about the shoe is this is one of only two state-related state dunks that Nike have released. So considering they've got 50 states to play with, they've only ever done the Hawaii's and the Cali's. So, which is pretty cool. You can see the map. You can see the map of the outline of the Hawaii state on the back hill, which is pretty sick. So, considering they've got 48, I think it's 48. Could be more, could be less. You ever see a map or one of those round, colorful things called a globe? My geography is rubbish. But considering they've got so many more states to play around with, it surprised me that they've only ever done the two. But these are sick. On the park, what is styled out is the National Volcano Park, which the shoe represents. So you've got all the volcanic molten lava colours going through it. And inside the hill, if you look, you've actually got a picture of Pele, which is the goddess of volcanoes and mountains, and also the goddess of thunder and lightning. If I'm not mistaken, you can correct me. I'm pretty sure that's what I found out on my quick little Wikipedia search on the goddess. I might be wrong. But yeah, I think it's a really cool way of paying tribute to the state of Hawaii, its heritage and the national park. So you've got the volcanic red laces going through the shoe with a nice vibrant orange toe box. You've got the real nice patent leather going through the shoe, which is double stitched onto this really rad suede. And you've got a little bit of that, more of that patent use in the swoosh. As you go to the back, you've got the flag of Hawaii on the back, which is really, which is a really nice other little nod with a nice little yellow bouncing off it. Again, giving it that fiery, molten lavery, molten lavery kind of flamey feel, which is pretty sick. Uh, the color is carried away onto the inside. And, and yeah, and that's basically it. You've got this nice kind of cool clash of materials and colors, which work really well on the shoe. Funny thing about this shoe is when I first got these from a friend who sourced them from me from limited editions in Barcelona. He just happened to be on holiday skating, sent me a picture of their dunk wall, uh, knowing that I'm a dunk fan, asked me if there's anything I needed to pick up. I'd only ever seen these on Nike Talk beforehand, so I was pretty stoked. I circled these and he bought them back. Um, 
At first, I actually, you can see that they're quite heavily worn, but at first it took me years to wear them. I kind of only bought them to have on display because I just thought the colorways were rad and I thought it was a cool little display piece. But yeah, over the years I fell in love with them and I guess got a bit more braver with my outfits and my color jams. So yeah, now I'm injecting them into fits. So pretty stoked to inject them with this simple churro hoodie. <laughs> I'm going to link up with Andy in a bit, go take a picture and see what happens. Well, the first attempt didn't go so well. The wind was mashing up my beard. Ow. And if I want to do this outfit, I've got to do it properly. Let's try again, round two. Okay, second time, coffee shop didn't feel quite right. I got some kind of clean shots out of it, but there was, if I'm gonna do a little love letter to Bobby Hundreds, there needs to be some good storytelling behind this. So third time's a charm, as I always say. The next idea kind of makes more sense. It's a local venue I went to a lot in my college days and, my, and in my early twenties. It's where I saw a lot of hardcore bands and metal bands come through my hometown. Obviously bands like Simple Chura never came through, but the sentiment is there. So let's do this again. Third time's a charm. Let's go. Big up once again to Out of Step and Linda's for sending me some 100 simple Chura stuff. But it was right to come back to my old stomping ground and uh, rock it there. So I've got the simple Chura 100 hoodie on underneath my dungarees. Carhartt dungarees, simple Chura lid, finished off with my Hawaii's. Once again, big up out of step, big up hundreds, Linda's, Adam, you guys are the best. See you again next week. Yes, so that's it. Third time was the charm. It was cool to go back to an old venue, the furnace, level three, whatever you know it as, if you're a local to Swindon or have passed through. Wouldn't be a hundred-esque video if there wasn't some good storytelling involved in it. So a perfect way to end the video. I'd love to go more into the hundreds and what Bobby means to me and the impact that he has had on the culture, myself personally, in everything that I do, the way I carry myself and I basically approach any project that I have. I will eventually do my uh, love letter to Bobby, but until then, this is what you're gonna get. I'd love to go more into the brands that I'm into as well as the shoes. So if there's any other things that you want to see in the future, hit me up. We're at that 1K mark. I want to evolve. I want to make some more content and I want to have some fun. So give me some suggestions. I am listening. I'm always down to listen. I'm always down for new ideas. Big up again for everybody for the support so far. Get me to that 1K mark. Let's see what the future holds. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Stay safe. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>